Hey everybody, Ryan Jackson here, hoping that you're having a great day. So this should be a fairly quick video. We're going to talk about two sections, 210.22 and 210.23. Now, taken on their own, they're huge sections, and you could do an hour talking about them. But what changed here is actually going to go pretty fast, and it really kind of fixes a weird little thing that happened in the 2023. So let's take a peek, and we'll look at what they did. All right, so Article 210, Branch Circuits 210.22, Allowable load on individual branch circuits. The question of an individual 10 amp branch circuit supplying a receptacle was answered. Okay, so there was a little bit of a loophole here in the, two, in the uh, 2023 edition, and it certainly wasn't intentional. Uh, it was only in for one cycle, uh, and you really couldn't use it anyway, so no harm, no foul. But we fixed it for the 2026. So 210.22 says an individual branch circuit can supply loads right up to its rating. Now, it used to say the load must not exceed the rating of the circuit. Well, I mean, isn't that what we just read, right? An individual branch circuit can supply loads up to its rating. So really, it, it said in two sentences what it could easily say in one. So they just minimized it to one sentence. So looking at this example here, now it's important to note, this is not a continuous load. If this was a continuous load, uh, we would have a different equation here. But we've got a 16.6 kW single phase 208 volt load. All right, and if we do the math, 16,600 watts divided by 208 volts is 79.8 amps. Now, could we put 79.8 amps on an overcurrent on an 80 amp overcurrent device? And the answer is yes. Now, we'd have to make sure that there was nothing else on that circuit, but certainly we're not going to have you know, two loads on that circuit anyway, right, on an 80 amp circuit. So yes, that would be permitted. Now, if the load was continuous, we'd have to take it at 125%, right, which would probably end up being like 99 amps, and we'd have to put it on a 100 amp breaker. But if the load's not continuous, you just take it at 100%, and the branch circuit can carry loads right up to its rating. So could you put 80.0 amps on an 80 amp breaker? Yes, you could. Could you put 80.1 amps on an 80 amp breaker? No, you could not. Uh, so 79.8 is about as close as you can get. So if there's nothing else on the circuit, go ahead and supply loads right up to the rating of the circuit. But we had to add this language here receptacle outlets may not be supplied by a 10 amp branch circuit. We had that language in the 2023, but we put it in the wrong section. It was in 210.23, which is for multi-outlet branch circuits. Well, multi-outlet branch circuits means you have more than one outlet on the circuit. Well, if you only have one outlet on the circuit, you wouldn't read that section, you would read this section. And this section didn't say that you were not permitted to put a 10 amp receptacle on a 10 amp branch circuit if that was the only thing on the circuit. Now here's the bottom line. They don't make 10 amp, circuit, uh, 10 amp receptacles and they almost certainly never will. So even if they had a 10 amp receptacle, you cannot put it on an individual 10 amp circuit. You cannot put it on a 10 amp multi-outlet circuit. Receptacles are not allowed on a 10 amp branch circuit. All right, fine, easy enough. The other thing they did here is 210.23, which really correlates with that change. The allowable loads for 10 amp multi-outlet branch circuits were simplified. All right, so you might remember in the 2023 code, there was a big push to allow for 10 amp branch circuits in the code. And it was mainly intended just for lighting, right? Because, you know, as I said on the, on the last video, when's the last time you put a 400 watt metal halide in a building, right? We, we just don't do it anymore. We're using LEDs and, and let's be honest, your whole house probably pulls less than 10 amps worth of lighting. So why not allow 10 amps for lighting? Well, we added that in the 2023, but we didn't do it very cleanly. And oftentimes when we add a new rule in the code, uh, it takes three years, maybe six years, to kind of iron out the wrinkles and make sure it said what we wanted it to say. Now it does. So 210.23, permitted load on multi-outlet branch circuits. The load must not exceed the branch circuit rating. Period, right? That's a rule. So never can the load exceed the rating of the circuit. Certainly we know this. So 
Looking at this example, I have a fixed dishwasher and a fixed disposal. If I have a 20 amp circuit and the total load between the disposer and the dishwasher does not exceed 20 amps, then these could be on the same circuit. Now, if one of those two was not fixed in place, or if we also had non-fixed loads on that circuit, then we've got some 50% rules and some 80% rules. But if everything is fixed in place, you just add up the ratings and the ratings are not allowed to exceed the rating of the branch circuit. Let's keep reading. Circuits supply more than one outlet or receptacle must comply with 210.23 A through E. What changed here is A, and like I said, we added 10 amp circuits in the 2023, we fixed them in the 2026. 10 ampere multi-outlet branch circuits are only allowed for lighting outlets. And for exhaust fans on laundry or bathroom lighting circuits in dwellings. I, I, I still don't quite know why they're, they're so carried away about this. You can put 10 amps, turn it 10 amp circuits for lighting circuits. Dwelling units other than dwelling units, industrial, doesn't matter. 10 amp circuits are permitted for lighting. In addition to that, 10 amp circuits are allowed for exhaust fans, but only if you put them on the laundry room lighting circuit or bathroom circuit. Okay, um, so they can't, they can't be on their own circuit or they can't be on the bathroom circuit in the bathroom. They can't be on the lighting circuit in the bedroom. I mean, it, it, it's kind of weird. You would think put them on lighting outlets and exhaust fans and be done, right? I don't know why we, got, why we got to make it quite so difficult. But anyway, you can use a 10 amp circuit for lights. You can use a 10 amp circuit for exhaust fans if you put it on the same circuit as the laundry or bathroom lighting circuit in a dwelling unit. But again, commercial, you can still use 10 amp circuits for your lighting. This rule used to say that you're not allowed to, to have 10 amp circuits for fixed appliances or stationary appliances or garage door openers or laundry appliances. And it's like, guys, how, how many times are you gonna tell me fixed appliances, right? Isn't a garage door opener a fixed appliance? And didn't we just say you can't have a fixed appliance? So we just clean it up a little bit. We added the word only, that way we're done. We don't have to keep on telling you what you're not allowed to do. Just say, listen, you can use it for this, you can use it for this, that's it. So not too much to talk about here for the 10 amp branch circuit. The other thing though, and this, this is really the biggest part of it. In the 2023, you might recall, there were three things that happened that had to happen to allow uh, 10 amp circuits. We had to change Article 210 to even allow a 10 amp circuit, and we did that. We had to change Article 240 to tell us what rating of overcurrent protective device would be required for a 10 amp circuit. We did that. Then we needed to change Article 310 to allow smaller wires to be installed on these 10 amp circuits. And in the 2023, we did not do that part. So you could put a 10 amp circuit on your house for your lights, but you had to run 14 gauge copper. So why would anybody do that? Well, in the 2026, spoiler alert, we're gonna talk in 310.5 in a few videos about a change that was made to allow 16 gauge copper or 14 gauge copper clad aluminum on 10 amp circuits. And now that we can put smaller wires on our 10 amp circuits, we might actually see 10 amp circuits. So we'll take a look at that video once we get into chapter three. But for right now, just know that we cleaned up 210.22 and 210.23 to allow 10 amp circuits. All right, next video is gonna be 210.52, talking about where you have to put receptacles and where you're not permitted to put receptacles in dwelling units. Hope to see you then, be safe.